Hey up everybody, I'm on part two of my gear cutting videos. Uh, in part one I've shown you how I made a, a single point cutting tool symmetrical on both sides using my milling machine and this attachment I've made for my, for, to put a grinding wheel in. So if, if you want to catch up on that take a look back at that and uh, in this part then I'm going to make the actual blanks and cut the gears and what the gears are for just quickly it's to replace uh, two gears on my Imperial Myford lathe so I make it to enable me to cut metric a nearly a full range of metric threads just by using two gears and just using those gears one at a time on the lathe and it saves you having to buy a full um, full metric set. So I'll move over to the workbench and show you what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do then, I want to cut two blanks. Um, well I'm going to make two sets while I'm doing it. Uh, a 33 tooth and a 34 tooth gear. And what that, what those gears do, is a picture of my my Eiford uh, change wheels. This, norm, this wheel here is normally a 24 tooth wheel. All you have to do is drop your banjo down, take this, take this gear off and put a 33 on. That gets you one range of metric threads. And then to get the rest of them, you take that 33 wheel off after you've dropped the banjo, put the 34 wheel on, put the banjo back up, and then that gives you the, the majority of the metric threads. Blanks then, if you've not got if, you've, if you're interested in gear cutting, get that book by Ivan Law on gears and gear cutting. I've got that book where I've lent it to somebody and I'm using this one uh, by Alfred Marshall. You can see how old it is, it's still in uh, pre-decimalisation pre in, in the UK, which is uh, pre-1971. Well, this is a good book, it tells you everything you need to know. Um, yeah, by Alfred Marshall. So, to, to get the uh, outside diameter then for your blanks, all it's a matter of doing is, for a 34 tooth, it's the formula is the number of teeth you're going to cut plus 2, divided by the DP. So in my case, it's a 20 DP that I'm, uh, a 20 DP um, pitch, diametral pitch, so it's 36 divided by 20, so my blank in this case will be 1.800 inches diameter. Then for the 33 tooth one, again number of teeth plus 2 divided by the pitch, which is 35 over 20, and that equates to 1.750 inches diameter. Well, that's my blanks made, uh, two at 1.750, two at 1.800. I'll move over to milling machine now and set my cutter up and get everything set up to, uh, to cut the teeth on it now. Right, so I need to know the depth of the cut. <clears throat> so in this book that I've got from Alfred Marshall, 
A 20 dp cutter, the depth of cut is 108 thousandths. That's that then, and then next thing I need to know is on my me, uh, me simple indexing uh, dividing head, I'm going to be cutting a 33 and a 34 tooth gear. So on the chart for a 33 tooth gear, I need to go on and in, I need to have a whole circle of 33, and for every tooth I need to turn the dividing head one full turn and 7 over 33 holes. So this is this one, uh, I need a 33 uh, hole plate and each tooth is one full revolution plus seven holes and for the 34 tooth gear I need to be on a 17 hole plate and I need to go one full revolution and three holes on the 17 hole plate. I'm going to set the centre of the tool onto the centre line of the work. Uh, I've got a 10 thou feeler here, I'm just touching onto this tool, onto the uh, edge of the tool. Right, I'll just zero my dials. Uh, so what I've got to do then, the uh, the blank is, in this case, is what inch and three quarter. So I've got to move down half inch and three quarter, which is seven eighths, point eight seven five. I've also got to move ten thou of my feeler gauge, which is point eight eight five, and then I need to move down half of the tool at the at the very front of the tool, which is sixty thou. So that's um, 885 plus 30, uh, 915 thousandths down.
Right, the moment of truth of a Mr. Neil's on my dividing head. Looking good. Okay, that's me, uh, my for 33 and 34 tooth gears made. I'm going to go over to the lathe now and try them on the lathe. Uh, and with that 33 and that 34 tooth gear, you're able to cut all these pictures without having to buy a full metric set. Okay then that's it for this video then uh, if you found that interesting and useful give me a subscribe and a like and uh, I'll catch you on my next video so thanks for watching then bye for now.